Hello guys, today I want to talk to you about a French international striker, uh, but I can sense collective disappointment as I announce it is not Kylian Mbappe, but Olivier Giroud. Giroud scored a hat-trick for the French national team the other day. He's been talking uh, in the national media about his unhappiness, really, with playing a, a limited role in the team last season and how it's given him cause to consider his future, even though he, like Hector Bellerin, signed a contract not too long ago. Um, this might surprise a few people, but I really want Olivier Giroud to stay at Arsenal. The reason that's surprising is that I've been quite critical of him in the past, but I would argue I've been critical of him when he's been the sole lone striker uh, not having a competition, been played irregardless of uh, opposition or strategy. He's just been there week in, week out. But last season, things changed. Giroud evolved into someone who showed they've got real value as a squad player and particularly as a substitute. I mean, look at his Premier League record. 12 goals, I think he scored. He only started 11 games. Um, I think if you look at his goals per minute in the Premier League, he scored 0.9 goals for every 90 minutes played. That basically equates to a goal a game. In the Champions League, 0.6, which is still very, very creditable. Few players have that capacity to come off the bench and impact a game like he does. What goes into that? I think it's partly psychological. It's about the way you prepare yourself, the way you watch the game before you come on. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer used to talk about how he would watch the defenders, see where the space might be. Perhaps Giroud's got qualities like that that we haven't necessarily envisaged. I think it's about having a, an attitude where you want to prove the manager wrong for his selection. And I think as well, it's a strategic thing. I think late in games, defenders tire. Giroud can exploit that space in the penalty box. Those near post runs become harder to track. And also maybe teams get penned in against us and we need to go to a more direct option. He provides that. And it's difficult to find someone who does what he does as well. Who heads the ball as well as Olivier Giroud in the Premier League uh, on the attacking front? Andy Carroll, maybe? Who holds it up and brings others into play as well? Maybe Zlatan, but beyond that, there aren't many candidates. Yes, he's not quick. Yes, his movement's not great. And yes, he should not be starting games for us week in, week out. That should be a Welbeck, or ideally... And Mbappe. But I would have him on the bench every single week because of what he provides, because of the unique threat he provides, because he allows us to change the game. You never know when you will need a player like Olivier Giroud. And I think that we can afford to give him the game time he needs to be happy and keep him in contention for a spot in the French team in 2018. So I hope this tour of Marseille goes away because when I would be assembling my Arsenal squad next season, especially bearing in mind we're likely to lose. Lucas Perez, Chuba Akpom, Yaya Snogo's going. Olivier Giroud will definitely be among my strikers. Variety is important. Look at the Invincibles. Yes, we had Omri and Burka, but behind that we had Will Tord and we had Kanu, a very idiosyncratic player who did a very particular thing. Very special set of skills like uh, Liam Neeson in Taken. Olivier Giroud's our Liam Neeson, guys. We need him. Don't let anyone take him. Anyway subscribe and if you're watching this on a phone i think that thing isn't there so you just think i meant you think i'm just pointing at that painting or something but subscribe anyway it must be down there or there's somewhere you can press subscribe i've basically decided to evaluate you know my value as a person on how many people subscribe to these videos so do it back tomorrow